accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. Wow, she was looking good, Marie. Nice job. Congratulations there. Yeah, Go. I thought maybe Itika rigged it, but we then I saw the moves. We wanted to be <laughs> fair. <laughs> then I saw the moves and the costume, and now we know Marie is just a phenomenal dancer. Yeah. So congrats to her. Hey, and the sunset matches the dress that she had on. Did you catch this one? Eileen Swanson did, and she sent in this photo from Oceanside. She's one of our 10 News Weather Watchers. You can be one, too. Just go on Facebook, search 10 News Weather Watchers, and upload your pictures. Here's how everything looks right now from Del Mar. We're seeing mostly clear skies out there, and what a nice almost summer-like day it was, but not going going to be a great day to be at the beach tomorrow or Tuesday because of a high surf advisory going into effect. That'll be from 6 a.m. tomorrow through Tuesday at 6 p.m. And we're talking about six to nine foot waves with 10 to 12 foot sets possible on west facing beaches south of Del Mar. Strong rip currents possible. And then on Friday and Saturday, we're going to see another advisory like this with even higher surf and some coastal flooding possible. Here's how temperatures are shaping up tonight. Carlsbad 57, Kearney Mesa 56. In San Diego, we're still at 60. Alpine 55. Julian, good evening to you. 49 there. So lots to talk about. We do have have this low pressure system that is bringing lots of rain to the northern portions of California and that's going to drop down into our region on Thursday and we're going to feel the effects of it into Friday. So showers possible and even snow possible for higher elevations. The big concern is going to be strong damaging wind potentially with 55 mile per hour gusts possible. So as far as the rain amounts, we're looking at trace to half an inch. The higher elevations would get more rain with this system and one inch possible of snow for elevations at about 4,500 feet and then even three inches possible for 6,000 feet and above. Again, that's Thursday and Friday. As we get closer to those days, we'll fire up 10 News Pinpoint Futurecast for you and show you as those uh, snow and rain totals become more clear. Oceanside tonight, you'll cool down to 40. Poway and Escondido, 43. Ramona, 44. El Cajon, 43. Uh, Chula Vista, you're low tonight, 46. And in San Diego will see 51. Lots of changes for the next seven days. So for tomorrow, 73 is the high at the coast, 52 overnight. And then Tuesday will be our warmest day for everybody. 75 the high then, but then look at Thursday when we get those rain chances and that cold storm will drop down into the 60s and stick in the 60s through the weekend. For the inland communities, 80 tomorrow, 81 Tuesday, and then on Saturday and Sunday even seeing the 60s by then. But Friday looks to be the coldest day with a high of 60 and we'll see the 40s overnight for the most part. So not anticipating any freeze watches or warnings just yet. For the mountains, 66 tomorrow, deserts 76, and very windy Thursday and Friday. So driving a concern and also holiday decorations. If you've invested a lot of time and money in those, you want to make sure they're secure before the strong wind comes through in the second half of the week. Well, chilly 